it's Andy and Barbara and we're back on the river again today. We're on the Merced River somewhere. Secret. You're Briceburg anyway. That's all we'll tell you. <laughs> but don't, don't, secret. Shh, don't tell anybody or she'll use that thing on you. <laughs> anyway. Hey, let's go see what we're doing. I think we found a place to dig. Hopefully we don't get skunked. All right. Maybe we'll get to go to Disneyland. Yay! I know. Someday we'll find a Disneyland nugget, but oh. <laughs> anyway, let's go dig a hole and see what we're doing. So just to show you guys one of the spots that I'm going to test pan here, you can see the big boulder. Here's the river flow. The water flow splits around this boulder. You can see all the sand that dropped out here, so that's pretty light water flow. On this side of the big boulder, you can see all the big gravels. And then behind this rock, there's a spot that has a combination of sand and small round gravels. And down here, just below the red shovel, you can see the bedrock sticking out. And I got a little pocket, it looks like, in the bedrock right here. So I'm going to start digging stuff out of here and uh, test pan it and see if we get anything out of it. If not, I'll work my way a little further up. I got this kind of natural sluice going on here. I've already moved some big rocks that were in this area but kind of a natural sluice as the water blew around over these bigger rocks and so i'm hoping it's stuff would settle into my nice little hole here this pocket in the bedrock so we'll see what it does let me go run a test pan it's raining it's pouring nobody's <laughs> what are you doing what does it look like i'm doing Looks like you're panning for gold. Is that test pan? Test pan number one. Awesome. And I think I'm getting some black sand in here. Sweet. We'll come back to you when you get done with your test pan and see what it looks like. All right, so I'm one test pan into this spot. You guys can see the bedrock at the bottom better. It keeps dropping lower and lower as we go down. And my one test pan. That is a nice piece of gold. So I think I'm going to start filling buckets out of this spot and run it through the sluice. All right, sluice is in the water. It's not ideal. Uh, I couldn't find a good spot to really put it, but I wound up moving a whole bunch of big rocks, making myself a semi-wing dam to try and bring some of that faster moving water in here. But... I don't know if you can see it without the sunlight, but I got a V halfway down the box, so I'm thinking that it's good enough. The bottom's kind of buried, but uh, looks like there's plenty of room for stuff to go. I don't see a lot of back pressure on it. So we're going to try this, see what it does. Show us that beautiful bedrock, baby. That cost extra. <laughs> that cost extra. <laughs> well, there's bedrock right there. Yes, there is. Scrape it good. And then there's that pocket that you found that we had to move the rock. We kind of wound up putting more dirt back on our hole, but she found like a, a cup in the bedrock, a little pocket that when uh, I looked at it, it was full of really dark covered, uh, colored sand, not quite the gravels. There's gravels in it, but the sand in it was very dark, like it's got a high, coarse black sand content. So that little pocket could be a really good spot if our hole doesn't fill up with water first, because now we're down to the water table. That is unfortunate because that means we're going to lose gold to water.
unfortunately today I got lots of water but I can't get much drop on the box so it's not doing as great of a job of classifying and it's not cleaning out all of this sandy stuff quite as fast as I would like so I'm having to help along a little But it's okay because most of everything I'm expecting to catch is up here. I am seeing the sand slowly clearing out and exchanging to where I see Miracle Mat up here again. The, the big ripples are a little slow to clear out today, but I think we're doing okay. Still beats classifying. I can't tell if there's something crawling on my ankle or if it's water. Other ankle. Your ankles are both in water. Yep, we'll let it clean out. See what happens. Need to go get some more dirt. Death from above. <laughs> ah! All right, well, we've put, we've lost count how many buckets through this. We basically scraped that big chunk of bedrock down. Uh, the water level on the river has come up somewhere between three and six inches since we started four hours ago. So the bottom of the hole is filled up with water, kind of makes it useless. We did go over and shear a couple of uh, chunks of bedrock crevice open, get the material out of those, put that through the sluice as well. So we'll clean it up and see how we did. We know we didn't get stunk because I got one nice piece of gold in a test pan before we started any of this. So no stunk. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. this in the one man it's another one of those a52s kind of things it's easy if you have two people but if you have one person it's fairly easy to deal with as well you can just stand it up on the legs give it a little bit of an angle so that it's uh, showing up in your bucket at the end hey Andy yeah I messed up the video for a second so there's like one second where it reversed and it went back Why'd you do that? I was trying to fix something. Well, it's too late now. I can always stop it. You can always start over. They're alive! They're right. alive! I was trying to make something better. Sorry about that. You're, you're an O&M specialist, not a, uh, not a cinematic camera person. So you, you're forgetting. You get what you paid for. That's what you paid right. for. Wait a minute. I pay a lot. <laughs> Not for me, you don't. Know. Just my life and soul. But that's okay, you're worth it. Done, we're just gonna start disassembling stuff. Cleaning it in the bucket of water that I have set right at the end. No happiness in the indicator? You know... I 
I think I see something, but with the lack of sunlight, it's a, it's a little more difficult to tell. Coffee. But no, there's no like, ooh, in the indicator map. Thank you for looking. The bad part with the A52 when you're using it in the... I want to be lazy and I don't want to classify mode. It's got the bead, the black bee mat at the top, but when you have all the stuff on top of it so that you don't have to classify, you can't see it. So you can't tell if anything is like dropping out up there at the top of the map. But I'll have to classify, I don't care. <laughs> That's how you do the one-man clean-out. Well, I guess now it's time to pan this out and see if we actually got any gold. Barbara, did we get any gold today? Yes. Are we Hell going to yes. Disneyland? Well. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let me put this in a pan and we'll see what we get. You know that saying, heavy pans? This pan is heavy. <laughs> There's so much black sand in there. I'm just looking for the shiny gold mouse ears. <laughs> I'm afraid it's more like Goofy's mining school. More <laughs> <laughs> gold on our hill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty. Yeah, there's gold down here, there's gold up there. Yeah, there's floating gold. There's a piece just floated away. Well, there's gold you can see still trapped down in the black sands. There's still some uh, little flakes of gold up towards the top. No big nuggy pickers. Darn, darn, darn. But we didn't get skunked. We got a few flakes of gold. Take it home, clean it up, weigh it up, see what we got. Anyway, till next time. Well, I can't say till next time. See you at the house when we wake this up. <laughs> So here we are at the end of the day and here's the, the hole we've been working on. You can see 
where the bedrock bedrock comes in. There was a nice shelf down here. Uh, there was a drop off right here. Unfortunately, the river went up somewhere between three and six inches. It's really hard to tell. I can tell you my dam that I built for the wing to funnel the water into my sluice box is now completely underwater. So somewhere between three and six inches when that came up, it uh, limited how deep we could dig in this hole before we hit water, unfortunately. But you can see there was this nice trough right there. But uh, that's what we did. And uh, now it's time to fill it up with rocks and clean up and go home. Hi everybody, we're back. It's the next day. I've got all the gold dried up and cleaned up and ready to put on the scale. I've already tailed the scale out for this uh, particular dish that we're using, so let's see what we got. And it looks like we got uh, 0.175 grams. Not a bad day, not our best, not our worst, but a good day out on the river. Anyway, hope you all liked our video. Please like, share, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Watch our videos. Help us get monetized. Please, please, please. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.